What up folks, it's Alex here, and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now if you're anything like me, you do most of your DaVinci Resolve editing purely for your YouTube channel. So you'll film and then edit a video, you go to your Deliver tab, you'll render your project, and then you'll log into YouTube and upload it directly to there. But in DaVinci Resolve 16, you can now get DaVinci Resolve to actually upload your video directly to YouTube for you. Just cutting out that last little step to save you a little bit of time. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video today. Now a quick caveat to this, there's not a huge amount of information out there about what bitrate DaVinci Resolve is using when it uploads your video, and you can't actually change it. However, I've run a few tests and it looks like it's using about 10 megabits per second, which is absolutely perfect for 1080p video, however it's not quite enough for 4K. So I recommend following this tutorial for 1080p videos, but if you're doing lots of 4K, you may want to stick to doing your custom settings. Right, with that out of the way, let's boot up DaVinci Resolve and we'll show you how it's done. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve, this is my project here and it's all ready to go, it's ready to be delivered to YouTube. But before we actually start exporting anything, we first need to sign into our YouTube account within DaVinci Resolve. So to do that, simply head over to the top left hand corner where it says DaVinci Resolve and give that a click. Click on Preferences and this window should appear. Ensure that you're on the System tab at the top, and then from the menu on the left hand side, click on Internet Accounts. Now you can actually upload directly to both YouTube and Vimeo. Now I'm only going to show you in this tutorial how to do this for YouTube, but it's actually the exact same process for Vimeo. Now on the right hand side, it says Sign In to publish directly to YouTube, and there's a Sign In button, so give that a click. And then we're simply going to follow the on screen prompts to log in to our YouTube account. You will then be prompted to allow DaVinci Resolve permissions to see your info, manage your YouTube videos and view your email address. If you're happy with that, click on allow. Once you're happy with that, click on save. You're now ready to deliver your project. So we're going to head over to the deliver tab and over on the left hand side, you'll see your render settings and you'll see there's defaults here for YouTube and Vimeo and both have little drop down icons next to each one. So I'm going to just click on the drop down for YouTube and you can see there's defaults for 720p, 1080p and 2160p. So I'm just going to click on 1080p and the default YouTube 1080p render settings will be displayed. So if we start from the top, you've got your file name. So this is obviously this is just what your video is going to be called. Then you've got your location because it will save a local copy of your project to your PC as well as uploading it to YouTube. So you just choose the location for that. You can then amend your resolution if you want to. I'm going to leave this as 1080p. You've got format. There's options for QuickTime and MP4. It doesn't really matter too much. I always change that to MP4 because I film everything in MP4 rather than .mov. And then you can leave the video codec, audio, audio codec, and data burning well alone because they're fine as they are. And then you'll notice this tick box here where it says upload directly to YouTube. If we have that unticked, it will just create the local file and save it to your PC. If we give that a click, it will save this file to your local PC and then automatically upload it to YouTube. And there's an option here for a description, so you can enter your YouTube description in the box as needed. You've got visibility and then you've got category. Now I would always advise, set your visibility to private when doing this and then choose your category as normal. You'd set this to private because there's nowhere to add any keywords or tags or put into playlists or do any of the usual things you'd probably do. So if you set this to private, it'll upload the video for you to YouTube without it being public. So then you can log into your YouTube account, set all your keywords, set your thumbnail, do all the stuff you want to do before it's actually visible to your subscribers. Once you're happy with everything you've entered on here, simply click on add to render queue. Hit start render and that's it. Your video will be rendered and then will be automatically uploaded to YouTube. As mentioned, you can do the exact same thing for Vimeo and there's defaults for 720, 1080p and 2160p as well. Now another quick tip, within the cut tab, so if you prefer to edit in cut rather than edit, you've got this icon in the top right hand corner and this is your quick export. So we can give that a click and this box will appear and from here you've also got the options for YouTube and Vimeo. So I'm going to click on YouTube, upload directly to YouTube. I can give it a description, change the visibility, the category, and then I can export straight from there. It's just a little bit quicker. I generally prefer to go to deliver because you've got more control, but if you're editing in the cut tab, 
That's a nice, easy way to do it to get it directly onto YouTube. And that's it, easy as that. If you enjoy this video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, pop them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheerio.